This chapter discusses in detail a little bit more of uh, what it means to be an entrepreneur. It also discusses some of the advantages and the importance in the economy of small business. We discussed entrepreneurs a little bit in chapter one. We learned that they were a very important driving force within a capitalist economy. And we also learned, and uh, perhaps I'll help you remember, that entrepreneurs are willing to take risks. And the reason they're willing to take those risks is with high risk comes potentially high reward. Many people who take the risk of starting a business, you never hear of. Uh, they're the mom and pop shops that are out there, so many, many millions uh, of businesses in the United States. But sometimes an entrepreneur will become extremely successful, and here's just a few. Uh, most of you should recall uh, Steve Jobs and Apple and uh, Bill Gates and Microsoft, Mark Zuckerberg with Facebook, and Mary Kay Ash uh, with the uh, Mary Kay Cosmetics uh, Corporation. And at the time that Mary Kay started her business, uh, women CEOs and women in business was really almost unheard of. And so she had a lot of additional challenges to overcome in addition to just becoming a successful entrepreneur. Yes, indeed, starting a new business is risky. As you can see here, nearly half of all businesses, new businesses, fail within the first five years. And that is an incredible risk that entrepreneurs are willing to take. But those with a true entrepreneurial spirit really are undaunted by failure. For instance, Henry Ford wasn't an instant success. He went broke five times, as you can see here, before he finally founded the very successful Ford Motor Company. And so many times, entrepreneurs will find themselves in the midst of a failure, but they dust themselves up, uh, off they pick themselves up, and they start again. And that's the true entrepreneurial spirit. Henry Ford certainly isn't the only example of an entrepreneur who failed at first. Uh, another example, two examples here, uh, R.H. Macy started seven failed businesses before he finally opened up his successful Macy's store in New York. And uh, Colonel Sanders, Harlan Sanders, with his famous uh, chicken recipe, he was rejected 1,009 times before somebody decided to take his recipe and franchise. And incidentally, the first Kentucky Fried Chicken franchise was in Salt Lake City, Utah. Perhaps you have the entrepreneurial spirit, and at least you're going to assume you do for creating your business plan for this course here. But uh, here's some traits uh, of successful entrepreneurs. Number one, they have strong leadership qualities. They're highly self-motivated. They have a strong sense of basic ethics and integrity. They're willing to fail. They're serial innovators. If first something doesn't work, they'll try it again. And they also know what they don't know, uh, and they're willing to get help when they don't have it. Very competitive usually, and they understand the value of a strong peer network. They can't always do it themselves. Even though they may be a sole proprietor, they're going to have that network of support. It's the goal of every entrepreneur to become the next Bill Gates or Steve Jobs and um, be in charge of a multi-billion dollar company. However, most entrepreneurs really don't make it there. Uh, millions of entrepreneurs just start with sole proprietorships and end up with a small business when it's all said and done. But small business is still very, very, very important in the United States economy. Here's just some of the statistics that show you how important small businesses are. Uh, there's 27.8 at the time of uh, this slide, uh, small businesses in the United States, 7.8 million. But look down here, almost 60 to 80 percent of new jobs are created by small businesses. So very likely, when you graduate college, you might be employed by a small business person. Not everybody goes to work for corporate giants right off the bat. As you are certainly aware, a business plan is required for this course. And a business plan is a map, a guide of where you want the business to go. And it's going to have different sections that are explained in the syllabus. But a business plan details what your business is, who you are, and of course, in many cases, the business plan is used to uh, gain investing or financing. Any good business plan, including the one you're going to submit for this class, will include you know, where your capital is going to come from. And when many people start businesses, they start businesses based on uh, personal savings, personal credit, relatives, uh, you know, all, all kinds of other choices here. And of course, if you've got a, an excellent idea and you've got a team that you're putting together a huge business and you've got the next uh, Facebook, then you might want to work with some venture capitalists. And uh, just, just kind of a fun note here, if you've ever seen the show Shark Tank, uh, that gives you an idea of what it is to pitch your business to a venture capitalist. Now, if you decide that the business plan you come up with for this class is something you actually want to pursue in real life, there are resources available to help you get started. One of those, very important, very useful, is the Small Business Administration. Uh, if you take a look at their website, it's just got an amazing wealth of material for how to do accounting and uh, all 
and marketing and many other things uh, for starting a business. They also have uh, small business loan programs uh, that can help you get started in your financing. Another very valuable resource if you have an idea that you think you want to turn into a business or even if you have a business that needs some uh, assistance would be a small business development center and many colleges and community colleges will have small business development centers and there you can find a counselor that would uh, more than likely be happy to look at your business plan, uh, evaluate uh, parts of your business and maybe point you in the right direction if, if uh, it's beyond what they can do or if you need some additional assistance. Perhaps even they might have an idea of uh, providing an intern for you um, to specialize in marketing or accounting. As you go through the text of this chapter, you'll be reminded of how powerful small business really is to the United States economy. You'll also be reminded of what it takes to be a good entrepreneur. Uh, take some time, study the chapter, learn it in detail, especially if you're thinking about starting your own business. And there's going to be some very useful information in this chapter for creating your business plan that's due at the end of this course.